In this video, I'm going to go over some final tips and tricks for dealing with instant static meshes. For example, how we'd be able to get this building made from modular instance pieces into Unreal without scripting blueprints and without rebuilding it. But first I'm going to go over the actor merge feature, which will help us do this. If we have a few objects in our scene like this, instant static meshes won't really give us any benefit. But if we have objects that are scattered or duplicated hundreds and thousands of times throughout our scene, then it definitely will give us a performance boost. But as an example, if I wanted to take these few chairs here and turn them into an instant static mesh and they were already placed in my scene, that can be done with the actor merge option. So if I go up here to actor and go to merge actors, there's a few different options here and not all of them are going to create instant static meshes, but I'll go over the different options that are listed here. So the first one is merge, which will just take these objects and make a brand new object with all these objects combined together. The next option is simplify, which will take these objects, merge them together, but create a very low quality simplified version of them and also merge their textures. And then the batch option will actually take all these objects that I have selected and turn them into instanced static meshes. So if I go in here and I select batch, it will pretty much take them and it will hide them. So I could delete those chairs now that are hidden and it creates a new actor which has an instant static mesh component, and it has all these chairs as instanced static meshes. And I can move them all around together as well and individually. So that's one way of creating instant static meshes quickly from something that's already been placed in your scene. Now there's one other option up here that we kind of overlooked when you have multiple objects and you have them selected if you go merge actors, there's one more option called approximate. And this is a new feature added in, uh, in Unreal 5, but this is more for merging objects that are very heavy or contain a lot of polygons like nanite meshes, and it will simplify them and combine them together as well. So those are the few options that we have for merging actors together. Now, what we're going to take a look at is how we can merge something much more complicated together in Unreal without having to rebuild it. For example, I have this building that's made up of many modular pieces in Maya, and they're all instanced, and we're going to bring this into Unreal and turn it into an instant static mesh without blueprints or without manually writing blueprint code, without rebuilding it in Unreal. We're going to use some tricks to get this into Unreal just like this, but as an instanced static mesh. So to be able to do that, I have to make sure that all these are instanced. And you can see that they are. If I edit one of these pieces of geometry, it edits all the instances of them. So as long as your geo is instanced, it doesn't really matter what software this is in, but you would just have to export it as FBX with instances included. So if I select all these, groups and I just go file export selection and I export it to my desktop as instanced building.fbx and I just make sure that preserve instances are on and that I'm exporting as a FBX. That's really all that you have to do. Now, once I've exported that, if I were just to bring that directly into Unreal or just drag and drop it into my content browser, it will load those hundreds of duplicates of geo all as individual pieces which is not what we want so the trick here is to go to file import into level and then select that fbx and what that will do is ask us where do we want to put it and i'll make a new folder and i'll put it into that folder and it's going to give us this new window called fbx scene import options and you'll be able to check all the things that's importing and you can see there's all these hundreds of duplicates that's importing but the important thing to look at will be the static meshes tab and this tab will show me how many objects it's actually going to import where you can see there's not too many here it's just the pieces that get duplicated so there's a window the roof the frame just a about a dozen objects or so. And then those dozen objects get duplicated many more times to make the whole building. So here I can see that it's recognizing my instances.
Now, when you import these, you want to make sure that under static meshes here, that your options here have the normal import method set to import normals and tangents. If you have it as compute normals, Unreal will recompute the normals of the faces and sometimes make them look soft or bubbly and not like how they looked in another software. So I'm going to do import normals and tangents. And then for the scene here, the scene tab, instead of these other options, there's a few options here. One of them will create all these objects in a blueprint, which seems like it's creating an instant static mesh, but it's actually not. It's just creating a bunch of static meshes, all just duplicated, but not actually an instant static mesh. So you don't want to use that one. And then create one actor with the components. That's not what we want either. It's going to create an actor then with all these uh, duplicates underneath it. That's not necessarily what's going to work for instant static meshes in this case. The one that we're going to select is create level actors. And this is just going to pretty much drop all this stuff in our outliner, which is not ideal. But from there, we'll be able to turn it into an instant static mesh. So what I'm going to do is set the hierarchy type to create level actors. And when I go import, there we go. We can see in our outliner it imported those pieces that are instanced and it imported the full building. Now the problem here is all these pieces, even though they're here in my outliner, it's the same as if I just drag and drop them into the scene and built the full building. They're not instant static meshes. So I just see them all here nested in groups. I can see there's a floor, the frame, and they're all just static meshes. So the trick here is to convert these to instanced static meshes. And I can't just select all these groups and go to actor, merge actors. It doesn't let me because they're in groups here or nested. So I'm going to close all these groups, select all the groups, and press delete. It won't actually delete my objects. It will just delete the groups. And then I end up with all the floor pieces, frame, frame interior, all these pieces just sitting in my outliner, which is not ideal. But I'm going to select all of them now. So I have all of them highlighted. That's the full building. And then I'll go to Actor, Merge Actors, Batch. And now what it's going to do is it hides all of them. So I can press Delete. And I got, I pretty much deleted all those objects now, but I still see the building here because it created this actor 29, which is this building now as all instanced static meshes. And I can rename it. So I'll call it building. Whoops. So I'll call it building. And you can see here there's an instant static mesh created for each different type of object. All the windows, the roof, the other windows, other parts of the roof, the little awnings. So if I go on one of these instant static meshes, I can see what geo it's using. And I can also see how many times it instanced it and where they're instanced to if I open these up. So that's great. Now we have this building in Unreal as an instance static mesh. But what if I want to drop it into my scene and have it in my content browser? I don't have this uh, object anywhere in my content browser to actually use and place in other levels. So one final thing that we can do, since we have this full actor here that has all these instant static meshes, we can just select it and click on this button here that converts this actor into a blueprint. And I can just store it into my building folder here and give it a name, building underscore blueprint, sure. Select. And now what I have is this building blueprint here, so I can delete this out of my scene. And now I have it right here, building blueprint, and I can just drop these buildings into my scene. And if I open up that blueprint, so I just double click on it, I'll be able to see that it's the full building with instant static meshes for all the different pieces and then all instanced to the positions that they need to be 
to make up this building. And that's probably the easiest way, but a little bit of a workaround to get objects that you've built in another software into Unreal as instant static meshes without really any additional work. So I hope that helps some people out. And if you found this video useful, please like it, subscribe, and let me know what you'd like to see next.